Meeting in the middle of the desert always made me nervous. It's a scary place. I knew about the holes in the desert, of course, and everywhere I looked, there could have been a hole. Tragedy on the Jersey Shore. We're digging a hole in the, in the, in the in, at the beach and it caved in on the kids. A young man has died, police say, after a 10-foot deep hole he and his sister were digging with frisbees on the beach collapsed on the pair. We can see one, we, can, we have no visibility on the second The 17 year old sister was rescued and treated at the scene, according to officials, but rescuers were unable to reach her brother, Levy Caverly, in time. It looked like he was still in the digging process and that moment happened with that collapse of the sand within seconds getting covered up very quickly. Witnesses now describing the urgent rescue effort as aerial videos show crews using boards, buckets, and even a backhoe to dig them out. The last thing I did see, sadly, was they brought a bodyboard into the hole. After I saw the bodyboard go into the hole, I decided to walk away. Once that collapses in on you, it, it's, it's tons of weight. The victim's father remembering his 18-year-old son on social media, describing him as a tech nut who knew Jesus Christ and was not real concerned with what others thought. Levy and his family were visiting Tom's River from Maine when the tragic accident unfolded Tuesday afternoon, police say. This type of accident, not unheard of according to locals, especially with no lifeguards on duty until Memorial Day. We've heard some stories in the past about people tragically dying in these holes and it's really sad. Just this weekend, a 13-year-old boy died in Utah after a tunnel he'd been digging in a sand dune caved in on him, authorities there say. It's tempting to assume this is uh, what people used to call a freak accident, but the fact of the matter is that there are uh, a number of cases every year and have been that way for at least 25 years, and uh, this is a preventable problem. Dr. Bradley Marin has tracked sand hole collapses for more than a decade. What are the rules when it comes to safety and digging sand holes? So our guidelines and recommendations has always been uh, not to dig holes. If, if you do, uh, certainly don't do it uh, deeper than the knee depth of the smallest person in your party. Words of caution ahead of summer vacations in the hopes of preventing another tragedy like this one. All right, Priscilla joins us now live here on Top Story. Priscilla, I, I got to be honest, I'm surprised at how common this is, as you point out in your story. Yeah. W what is the chance for survival here? Unfortunately, about 60% of these collapses are fatal, and experts say part of the issue is how long it can take rescuers to get that person out. You saw in the video first responders using that heavy machinery, but even that can pose a risk to the person who is trapped. And so in the time that that rescue effort is happening, that sand is compressing on that person's chest, experts tell me, and may also be obstructing their airway. And, and as a rule of thumb, you should only dig how deep? Only dig to your knee, the knees of the smallest person in your party, but ideally you don't want to be digging holes in the sand.